right, y'all. It's your boy Von Ray. We back with another episode of Set the Record Straight Podcast. Shout out to everybody that supports us. Um, y'all been listening. I, I I didn't even tell you. I saw we had like thirty thousand listeners on Apple Music. So I was like, damn, y'all really be listening to the audio, but y'all don't fuck with the video version. <laughs> but, <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? I literally I told you the other day. Yeah. I was talking to Flex, and Flex was like. You know what? Because a lot of times when people come up to him, he still be in shock. Yeah. So when he was, he was like, you know, somebody came up to me and said they see me on Von Podcast. I'm like, for real? So that means, oh, you make it ground. I'm lit out here. That's good as fuck. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I see you on Set the Record Straight. I was like, oh, he didn't say he seen you from me? Yeah. He was like, uh-uh. He said from Set the Record Straight. I was but like, look oh, at Von. point. God, look at God. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't fucking with the video, but we're going to keep giving it to you like a motherfucker. But, you know, I appreciate the Apple music because Apple do pay a little bit more. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with it. But, hey, man, I got some special guests here today. Even though Big Sexy been here a few times, he's still a guest, a special guest. So, everybody introduce yourself. Y'all go ahead. You well, first. You the, you the, but you. Got it. Okay. So, you know what's what what You <laughs> the Got it. Okay. But, but really, you like you like the real special guest. But, but you like uh, sus, so you. Go first. Got it. Yeah, okay. Down. <laughs> what's going on, y'all? It's the one and the only big sexy official here back at Set the Record Straight. Cause I love Set the Record Straight. Cause Set the Record Straight, you really just be talking about real shit. Oh so, God, yeah, I love it. And it's your boy Chaotic, and I'm here to set the record straight. Damn. That what I came. To, I came to set the record straight. Well, let's get straight into it, my let's boy. Let's get straight into it. So you want to know why I'm late? Why you late? Cause I was having sex with her. Damn. Mm-mm. And she, that's, whew. that's why she hey. held me up. I'm just going to throw that out there, out the gate. It's she okay, held though. it up. I'm not mad. Cause I, it's, and it was our thing first time is, having sex. Oh, damn. y'all be, so we had, you a point. For real you had to go ahead and, uh, we had a point. Hey, to I ain't mad and we've been waiting to have, <laughs> no, and we've been waiting <laughs> to have sex with each other for like two and a half, three years. So <laughs> you went ahead and, you went ahead and put it on her. So I'm going to just keep hey, it real. That we was had a, to keep it peace. No, we was battling to see who could put the sex on yeah. the who the most. Hey, are you just, being dead ass? He dead ass motherfucking serious. I ain't even shower afterwards. Hey, it's all right. Because I, I didn't have I no been time. Plenty places dirty she ain't shower neither. Hey, we had to wipe up and get out. <laughs> hey, that ain't your business. Hey, that ain't your business. I done been plenty that places dirty business. Business. <laughs> We so deep in our relationship. We'll she'll fuck me with a period on, and I'll lay my ass down and go to sleep. Don't watch oh, that's nothing. Love, no, no, that's love. Oh, God. I'm into that. I'm into that. Yeah, I'm real. into that raw. Raw. Yeah, I'm into I done ate her pussy with, with a period I done ate some period blood. Yeah. Ooh, that's love, shit. though, my nigga. That shit tastes <laughs> like pasta. That's real relationship Ooh, shit. That's what you call God. pasta. Yeah. That, it just add a little zest in that motherfucker. Hell yeah. You ain't never, you ain't never taste a penny or some nickels. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Oh. A little zest in, a little wow. seasoning spice on that motherfucking pussy. I turned into a vampire <laughs> after dog. So niggas really do that, though? Nigga, yeah. I just said I ate a pussy with a man. Nah, but for, okay, so for me, because I've never been with a woman before. Like, in your life? I, in my life. What the I'm going to tell you right now. In my life. <laughs> you eat you ass. Fucking up. Blood is better than shit. No, I don't eat no fucking ass. I don't eat nobody's <laughs> ass. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where you got that from. I don't eat no ass. I don't eat no ass. So, and no, no, no. So, as, as a... As, how you don't, I, if, that's, if that's what you into, how you don't eat it? I don't eat nobody ass. You ain't licking I'm the gooch. Eat, you ain't, you ain't doing, doing none of that. I'm not eating nobody ass. I guess for me, I ain't never met a gay man with boundaries. No, nigga. I don't eat this no ass. Got boundaries. I'm not yeah. eating no, nobody that is, No, that is crazy because that's you said some real shit. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know that gay men had boundaries. I, I thought they was y'all like, outside. It, no. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's like for me, um, I feel like when I take a shit sometimes, I don't completely be 100% clean. So oh I'm not about to eat, put my mouth on nobody. I ain't put my mouth on but nobody. But you let a motherfucker eat your ass. You I'm not, I can barely even let them do that. I probably had that done maybe to me, maybe done to me twice. That's it. I'm not too um, much into too much of that logistics of eating ass. And, uh-uh. He a conservative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and guess what? And I don't you. drink or smoke, never in my life. I don't drink or smoke neither. Me neither. And I haven't had sex I in two years. I ain't drink or smoke like So this is sober. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's just, how you know. You just lit. That's how you know. Man, we, we, we setting the record straight for real because no, we, we lit. sober. We don't sober need right nothing up. to turn us up. But real, real. I didn't know that niggas really be doing Because again, I've never been with a woman in my life. Do I see the beauty in them? Yes. I see the beauty, but I'm not sexually attracted. To mm. them, I have never been with a woman. Never finger, touch, kiss, nothing. Damn. 
So you I don't know, know what you missing, boy. You probably wouldn't even be. You probably wouldn't even be what you is right now if you just That's had that fact. experience one I time. I don't like them getting it dressed in front of me. I don't like them dancing on me. Nothing. Damn. I, don't I ain't like gonna it. lie. I saw some videos on Instagram when the girl was dancing on you. Look so uncomfortable. He was oh, like, uh, "Nigga, I ain't love know what to do with like, all that." Women, ass. When it comes to me, women is like at the top of my chart as far as like love. Yeah, yeah. But like a God loves you type of love situation, or like a brother sister type of love, but not sexually attracted in no way. But Damn. your boy, he said he like booty head, so. Yeah, I let a woman he, get back there and I give it to a woman. I ain't conservative. That's what that Miami shit be. They in Miami, I, they be I, doing yeah. that shit. I'm, I'm wide open. They be doing that shit in player. Miami. So you, I give it and I receive it. I'm going, I'm, that's how I'm hanging out. <laughs> Wait, so, yeah. so you into like orgies and stuff too? Like what you mean? Like me and multiple girls. I ain't like I can't I can't get with like another man in the room with me while I'm doing my thing. Multiple with girls though. Multiple women, yeah. Because if I got another man, it's just gonna it's gonna throw me off because it's like, dog, you standing right there. This a good ass yeah. talk. I can't, I can't see do a that nigga. Either. I can't see a nigga. I'm swing. I got to be the only man swinging yeah. in there. I can't be swinging and then you swing. Then a nigga it's leg like, may on, touch bro. you. Yeah, it's gonna. It's like the one. It's like, come on, bro. I can't even focus. Like I ain't even gonna want to moan how I usually moan because exactly. I'm gonna think you listening. Like, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, I like. The, I'm a moan and all. I want to hang out. So if I want, I can't hang out with another nigga standing there. But if it's multiple girls, we finna do multiple things. Yeah, that's how. Got I it. So if you, so if you were a woman. Yeah. Right. Why is it that a man can expect a woman to have an orgy, threesome, but it's like, what if she wanted to have two niggas? Go do that with somebody else, baby. Yeah, you gotta go. She might need to go call a nigga that, like, yeah. and no disrespect to nobody's sexuality. She might need to go get a two bi a bisexual <laughs> man, a man that want to be around the man while he doing that with her. First of all, I listen. What I always try to tell a woman is this: I don't give a damn with none of you beautiful, gorgeous. Queen <laughs> in the world have to Tom. say about what I'm finna say. But y'all not equal to us. It's a big difference. You y'all need to stop thinking y'all can do what we do. Yeah, huh. like if we go fuck 10 bitches right now, we, we the is, man. We the no, man. That's a, oh no, God. that's a double No, that, no, that, that, that is that's a double no, that's a fact. No, if go ahead, woman, finish. If a woman go fuck 10 niggas right now, she man, that slut. bitch is a slut. She a slut. She is a slut. But if a man go fuck 10 bitches, good ass we the conversation. King. You know why? Make sure you be. But you know why? <laughs> you know why it's like that? Because from the beginning of time, you know, we come from Africa, had brother. multiple wives. We had, we, uh, men always had multiple wives. And the, and the multiple wives, always had to be faithful to that one man. The woman never in the history of, of this right here, of this melanin, woman never in our history had multiple men. It never been a thing where a woman was able to have multiple men. They would get casted the fuck out for trying to have multiple men. Now, was they okay with their husband having multiple men, multiple wives? No. They probably but they wasn't. had to bite their pride. Had, they had to bite their tongue because that's just what men did. But, okay, hey, so you know why what? is it? Why is it though? Because that's it's. I'm not talking about the beginning of the time because you talking about it in the no, 19th but, but, but no, no, no. But it's not that. To be honest with you, I'm gonna get even deeper real quick. That's how tribes was built. Yeah. A tribe was built. That strength in numbers come from us. That come from us. A tribe was built off a of man having multiple wives. Because one woman can only give you a certain amount of children. Without tribes her body was being families. all fucked up. That's where we come from. Tribes. Tribes was families. In the, in the neighborhood growing up, who was the strongest families? The ones with the most kids. The, the, you know, the, the Reese them got 18 brothers Your and 16 cousins up the sisters. Street, all type and they of got shit. the biggest family in the hood. That's why they ran the neighborhood. Because they family the biggest. So we built tribes off of multiple wives. And the people even believe in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? When, when God blessed Abraham with as many as descendants, his grain of sand on the beach. He had to have multiple wives to do that. So in our DNA, genetically, it's in us to lust for multiple women. So when you see right now a man that has six baby mamas and 14 kids, you say he's a raggedy nigga. No, he's a blessed man. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait. I can, Wait. I, I can only agree, but so Nah, much. this is some I'm good shit, saying, though. This is some good shit. Man. But let me touch on what you said, wait, though, wait, 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 Hell no. A cursed man or woman is one that can't bear child. No, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. He's talking I wanna, some biblical I wanna, shit, though. I want to go back. He's talking and some she, biblical I'm shit. I'm not really. I like this because everybody don't believe in the Bible. Everybody is yeah. different yeah. people. But this it. ain't about the Bible. You're right. So, I, only, I, only, I only use two things from the Bible, but this is not about the Bible. This is about our history. Yeah. This is that. about our history. 
Okay, but can you so let's, let's dissect some things. I don't even believe in the Bible. Let's dissect yeah. some things. So let's go back to what you was first saying go as ahead. far as a woman fucking multiple men uh -huh. and a man fucking multiple, multiple women. So uh -huh. let's dissect some things. So what you basically telling me is uh -huh. that it's a standard for how a woman is supposed to carry herself and who she deal with and who she lay down with and who she fuck. Okay. But me, a man... No, we'll stop right not, there. Stop hold right on, there. let me finish, Jovan. A man, it's no standard for how he's supposed to carry it's himself. So because standard. you are a man, it is, because it all goes back to what he's saying as far as how a woman is carrying it's herself. Than that. that falls into standards, I'm going to break it down to you. Every, Try every, to break it down. Let me break, right. let me, let me handle, let me break it down to you. What, you. It's not about the standard. It's the way that God emotionally built us. Men can handle shit that women can't. But Ooh, girls, listen, like, girls listen, like more listen, I let you I let you talk. Can I, I let you talk. Let me listen to what I'm Fair saying it. and I'm gonna break it down. Men, Come on, sis. we can go fuck a fat bitch. <laughs> we can go fuck a bitch we hate. Watch. We can go fuck the baby mama that got us on child support <laughs> that we hate this bitch guts. It's just a nut to us. With women, y'all carry those souls on and on. The nigga before me, I'm just saying, not saying personal, but the nigga before me, she was damaged by that nigga. She carries that to the new relationship. And if I damage her, the next situation, she going to carry that. She going to have trust issues. She going to have all that. Niggas, what else? We like, man, man that I'm shit happened. When shit I tell cool. you I'm going to eat you out so bad, because again, it's, it goes. It's, it's, it's go, not about standards. No, it's it, about I'm not, the no, emotional. We're not touching on standards no more. Standards, standards is out the door, because now we're touching on a new conversation, because you brought that up. That's not necessarily true, because it's, a lot of women leave relationships from damaged men who already came damaged. You have a lot of women no. Go into relationships with these guys who are fighting their own demons, who going through their own trials and tribulations, and he dumps that shit onto her. So talk, her leaving him, a lot of times, he has already dumped his demons and his things onto her. So you can't even align them two things. That's apples and oranges. We, we talking about fucking, though. But they still, but I still feel like, why is it, when no, it comes no, to no, women, no, no. let me just finish this and I'm going to let you talk. Why is it when it comes to women, women, the standard is so high on how she's supposed to carry herself, and who she's supposed to be fucking, and what is engraved in that's a wizard doctrine. But when it comes to down married. to a man, he's able to go out there and do what he wants. Because a woman because it fits your narrative. Be because you know, because listen, let me tell you why. Because the woman is the man is the enterer, and the woman is to be entered. So it's the woman body and vagina and things of that nature is more sacred than the man's penis. Because at the end of the day, the womb, everything that you bear a child. <laughs> you 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 the one who carry the children. You the, ch the child come out of you. You uh, the woman's and she's vagina the prize. is what like is, that. Shit is like a safe haven. She's bro. a prize. That shit is a safe haven. That's the that's the shit that gives birth to me, you, you, the us. So that shit is to be like really. It's supposed to be cherished. Now don't get it twisted. When men had multiple wives back in the days, they was all cherished. It wasn't like how it is nowadays. Yeah, when niggas ain't them taking care of their kids and, and not taking care of kids. The problem, the only problem is was then and now is what providing is now isn't what providing was then. Providing wasn't about all finances. Providing was providing education, knowledge, te teaching the boys how to hunt, teaching the girls how to cook and clean and sew, teaching the young men how to protect how to how to use swords, how to use knives, how to I build. think a lot. I think nowadays what providing is I want Gucci, Louis, Fendi, and Prada. Exactly. Yeah, I think though, chaotic the in a sense. That's a, what, what you and what you and Vaughn are saying. I'm not negating that it's like 100% wrong, but I think a lot of men think like that because it's a cop out for them to be able to do what they want to do, no, fuck no, who they want to no. fuck. Because I guess gotta, what? This is how I feel. You right now. If you are if you are setting a standard for a woman. What you telling me of you saying right, right. how her vagina is sacred, who she is is sacred, no, how you true. deal with her is sacred. A lot of these men don't deal with those women on them terms. No, because you're right. for you, that's a that's not only a double standard, it's a contradiction. Let me tell because, you that. Right. Let me finish though. Women right. don't because want if you're supposed to be treating a woman in that manner, if you're supposed to feel like she's sacred, if you feel like her vagina is sacred, if you feel like who she's sacred, <laughs> if you feel like she's supposed to be a sacred woman, a lot of niggas don't treat women like they sacred. And you and you exactly right. But so what about what? the men that tell them I'm <laughs> This no, is what no, I do. No, no, no. <clears throat> You're exactly right. And now, I'm glad you said that. Now that fast forwards to this point. I'm not, I'm not just making it like men are great or men are right for what they do. I'm not doing that. I'm just explaining to you why I feel like men want, seek multiple women because it's genetically in us. It's in our DNA. But you're right. And the reason that men are like that is because we've been Americanized. 
women, men, when they took us from our country and they brought us over here, they Americanized us. They fucked us up in the head so bad that we don't even know how to view each other as our original selves. Women don't know how to look up to their men as the king, as the protector, as the provider, and submit to them because they're terrified to do it because mm -hmm. the men done got so peon and marked out and doing so much flow ass shit. Men is the new women now. But I think so if, it's like if, it's if, it was, up. if it was, it is fucked up. But at the end of the day, when you reach a certain age in your life, a lot of things you can't just set on excuses. No. So if these women was actually meeting a man that made her feel secure, that made her feel loved, that actually got her the right way, because it's no, the no, difference. No, 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 Let me no, finish, no, though, no, chaotic. Oh, it's a difference. It Let me finish, no, no, though. No, Let no, me no, finish. No, no, finish. <laughs> it's a difference between a man coming into a woman's life. And fuck, because a lot of niggas, let's just be 100. You see a good girl, you see what she got going on, you see she's amazing, and a lot of men come and fuck her life up because they're not ready, and they're not ready to lead properly. It's the difference between coming into a woman's life and you're acting like you leading, opposed to actually making her a better woman, leading her in the right way. A lot of niggas don't know how to make their woman feel safe. So, of course, why would I let you lead me into a dark alley when you've never showed me a product of anything that you got that, going that on? Make, you can't lead me. About, no, 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 no. no. Watch this. Yeah. That's a fact. That's what you're 80%. That's a fact. No, but listen, that's a fact what you're saying. But guess what? Now, just catch this. The man that just did that to her, right? He fucked her up. The man just did that to her. Fucked her up so bad to where she need a man like me. That's really like that. That can really lead her the right way. That can really nurture her and guide her and support her and help her. She meet me. She so fucked up and traumatized from him. That, like he was saying earlier, he just proved she my point. bringing that shit into me. To a nigga that's actually good versa. for you. Same thing with Heavy niggas. Heavy on the vice versa. And vice versa. Same thing with the nigga. Because I done been in situations where I can say, man, these hoes ain't shit. These bitches, I all want this and that. And I done had a good girl that was ready to nurture me, and but I wasn't ready. Uh-huh. Or either I wasn't ready or she wasn't wrapped up. The way I wanted her to be yeah, wrapped yeah, yeah. up for me to want to be ready for her. Mm -hmm. If she looked at like this, I would have probably been ready. But since she looked like that, I don't I don't want to be ready. I think a lot of men going, I think 80% of men you. going to situations thinking that shit is just cute. But a meanwhile to be able to fuck her yeah. and to be able to have fun with her and to be able to show a certain type of image, not knowing that a lot of women have been led, like you said, by a lot of men who ain't shit. Yeah. So you go into these situations knowing that you still have to mold her into the woman that you want her to be as well. No, definitely. So a lot of times you but go into these situations is just not, she, All women is not moldable. But just you, as well as all women, men. Just as well as all men ain't moldable. Yes, but let me tell you something. A lot of women, just like you said, if we're taking it back, it's indoctrinated in a lot of women to be wives. Well, let me, and ask, you, let me ask you this. And nurturers. What about the men that actually come to the table like him that let you know this is my life? They choose to accept it, they get in it, but can't handle it. Hmm. What about the men that straight up with how they move? A lot of them do that because they think, like, okay, I got a bag, right? So I come in, I got a bag. I'm going to buy you nice gifts. I'm going to do nice things for you. But I'm going to still have my way. Yeah. And you want to accept. It's like you It's like you let me, allow me to purchase you just to live this good life. You want to accept my all this bullshit that I got going on. You know what I'm saying? And you got a lot of this women. A good ass conversation. But they do that, We got to segue into something else. Because that. Go ahead. Finish. Yeah, no, because you got a lot of women that, that like, I done, I done had a woman that was, was, was that I'm trying to just take away from something like that. She, and she rather still try to be faithful to somebody that's unfaithful just for the material things that come with it or just for the financial security when she got a whole nigga over here that's trying to not only give her financial security, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. But well, she you know already know what that but, but guess what, chaotic, she, that's, so tied into chaotic, that that's and, and one that, and, and, out of ten. That's a cat. No, that's, 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 that's the whole Atlanta, is, Atlanta nigga. You no, have, no, 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 but that's, listen. That's, the, that's the, what's going you on. You have a lot of girl. men out there. No, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. It's, you that's, skip that's, over. That's six out of ten You nowadays. skip over. You have a lot of men that also skip over a lot of good-ass girls because what you do is you take your money and your car and your finances and you flaunt it for those girls who want that. So if I'm the type of person that's flaunting my success and my money for those type of girls, because there's a lot of good, that regardless every, of what nowadays, people think. Every girl wants that. Listen, let me finish your chaotic. Regardless of what people think and contrary to popular belief, it's still a lot of good-ass women out there who 
who oh, will I be that. A, I a, that. a wonderful Definitely. mother to your child, who Definitely. will have the house clean, who will be faithful to you. But no, you skip over those girls and you go after them gold digging girls and you flaunt your money. So of course, when you flaunt your money for the type of girl that wants your money and want the cars, she gonna get everything she can get out your ass. And you skip, cause there's so many girls out there that I see that as phenomenal women, You're phenomenal right mothers, that, but they get skipped over because you have a lot of niggas who are in position to make those women better, but they want the women who want their finances. So if you I going guess. after them girls that want your finances, they gonna run that bag up on your ass. You want no and, and you know what it is? It just it's all about too. What you fail to realize is a lot of a lot of men that 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 a lot of men with money nowadays have never had their way coming oh up. Oh God, them niggas so be niggas, lame growing niggas, up. Niggas, niggas was growing up, never fucked no bitches, never had no hoes, never had no nothing, and now. Nowadays, it's more, it's more like the purchasing a woman is easy. Yeah. Like getting women, if you got money, getting the baddest bitch. The price bitch is pussy is, is the, cheap. Oh my God, getting the baddest bitch is the easiest thing to do when you got some real paper. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, what it is is you got a lot of lame ass niggas who ain't never had no real paper come into the, the real paper, and then when they come into the real paper, they so horny they want to fuck up everything because they ain't never experienced sleeping with multiple women or sleeping with certain bad bitches like you feel me that's why women like bernice burgos and never go out of style because you got niggas still to this day right now getting their money up for bernice Burgos. Bur 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 but tell me this why <laughs> why is it that we do we do skip over a lot of good girls but yeah, a lot I of did, times the good girls they don't you know how girls will say oh he's a good dude but he it just ain't it like he ain't the it that's what yeah. women will say it's the same thing with men. She may be a good girl, but a pussy may be trash. A lot of good you girls ain't she got just no ain't good it. pussy. <laughs> like, like, to be honest, I'm gonna just be G. The best pussy I done had in my life. And a lot of niggas from, ain't from got good whores. dick. Man, we ain't like, come on now. Why would you just like, what the fuck? No, I'm, here you go, here you go. Cause one thing about it, <laughs> when I'm never, I'm never, I'm never. You gotta when speak I both you, sides I, though. Always. You gotta I speak both sides. Oh my God, I, I, I tell you. gotta speak both sides. I can't do that. <laughs> you gotta be able to speak. Nah, and guess what? I, the comment that I just made, I ain't necessarily even talking about myself. Yeah, I'll be just around saying these girls. In general. I have no, conversations no, 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 no. with these girls. A lot of no, these girls, true, there's no. a stat out there that you literally can Google right now. 70% of women have never had an orgasm until they gave it to themselves. But is that a nigga so fault a lot of niggas, But sh it, it go hand in hand. Because guess what? If a nigga knew, because a lot of times when it comes down to a girl vagina, never been with one, but I know a lot about it. A lot of times for you to enter her body, for her to get wet, it has to be something that you're doing. So if her pussy ain't good, if her pussy ain't getting wet, a lot of times mm -hmm. it's because she may not be mentally attracted to you. You may, She may not be physically attracted to you. It's something that's missing nah, in that but, piece. But, 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 because when a woman you. like you, that pussy that gonna be wet. That ain't, that ain't, but just because a pussy get wet don't mean that a pussy it's, good. It's good. Because it's, Wet it's pussy several, can mean white it's cream several, coming it's out that motherfucking yeast. It don't mean it's, it's, it's good. It's several different things that can make a pussy bad. First of all, and, and one can't... thing about one thing about it, as a man, I I like I ain't never had that problem with a bitch. Like me neither. Never, I I've never had that I've problem. Never had like that a bitch, problem. I've never had that problem. So I I don't know like that. I don't know that. But I'm just saying, it's several different things that can make a bitch pussy bad. Just like it's several different things that can make a nigga not be at it sexually please a woman also but you see a woman say they never had an <laughs> orgasm and for today was 30 it's time niggas we ain't bust off head till we 30 because girls don't know how to give head it works both yeah, ways my nigga. Nah, but the thing orgasm. about it is niggas just don't want to be disrespectful and let y'all know your pussy trash and your head is whack but a lot of times it's niggas that be flaunting that they got so much good dick. Yeah. So but, I was tying that into no, a lot of niggas ain't got good. walking dick. around this motherfucker saying they like they got good head. Really and they got good head. head. Really you, head. Ain't head. Be trash. You, ever, you ain't never go in the club and hear a nigga say, if you got good dick, make some noise. Exactly. But every time you're in the club, you hear the dick, <laughs> oh, my bitch with the good pussy, make some noise. The whole roof will blow off that motherfucker. That's pussy run the world, though. So. And I'm like... Nah, pussy, everybody here ain't got good, good pussy. Pussy run the world. No, I'm telling you, pussy run the world. No, no, it don't, bro. I know that it may not make your ego pussy, feel good, pussy but pussy run hot. the world. Pussy I'm gonna tell you right now, out. all pussy wait, 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 ain't wait, good wait, pussy. Wait, 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 check this out. Pussy run the world. <laughs> Start a motherfucking war. Let me see what a pussy. Pussy run the yeah. world. We I ain't Let's talking about the pussy. You I'm talking about I'm not talking about uh, what's going course. on in Afghanistan. Exactly. I done turned out. I'm pretty talking pussy about nigga. what's going on in America. In that's America, why, that's why you, you never had a female president. 
That's in no fact. fucking country. Well, in certain places, there in are no gay countries. No, but listen. There's no female president. Certain, because if you really want to get technical, we wouldn't be sitting right here without a pussy. So if it really gets down but to the wire. But you ain't wouldn't be sitting pussy, right here without but a pussy, dick. But what are you still, saying? There are so many different ways now in 2023, just like they got wait, robots wait, wait, bringing wait. you your no, food. No, 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 no. It's different ways. You but still need that we wound. Was born, but you know what? That's not what happened. But you, you still need that wound, though. Who sing that song, God is a Woman? Ariana Grande. Now, you just made me really think about something. Now, I'm going to pause. We're going to switch it up for one second. You made me really think about something. Right? Okay, when you said it wouldn't be us without pussy, right? It made me go to think, damn, maybe pussy was the first thing on this earth before dick. Hell nah. Because we might, we had to come out of a pussy. No, we didn't. God created <laughs> Adam and Eve. He created Adam and Eve. But those are your, real. Those are your so, Bible no, but that's, really, that's, um, that's, But believe. I don't I don't believe in that. Because that don't, really, that don't really make too much sense to me. I wish they put put a movie out with Adam and Eve. It don't make sense to me, though. Adam, Eve, a serpent, God. What's, 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 what, what the fuck kind of creation? So what you're saying like, is you don't believe in the, the, what the Bible says? No, I don't, I don't, I'm not Christian. Okay. I believe in God. I believe in a higher power. I believe that it's multiple gods. Yeah, I believe yeah, yeah. in the Elohim. Mm. I think it's multiple gods just because it's just it's like, if you look at the world, you got multiple countries, you got multiple presidents, you got multiple everything. So if you got multiple More angels, religions I don't think if you got multiple religions, even if you look at the, see one thing about me, I was in prison. I studied the Bible. So when I tell people I'm not uh, um, a Christian, I don't believe in the Bible. And they come for me. I say you don't even know about your. They Bible. have a heart attack. Exactly. Name me, name me five scriptures. Name me five scriptures out your Bible. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Name me every. They verse. just go by what's taught to them. Yeah. Name mm -hmm. me every chapter in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. If this is something that you believe is like how they say it's the basic instructions before leaving Earth. If you believe that this is for this is the all end from beginning of existence to the end of existence, it's in this book. Why the hell you ain't running around studying this shit 24 hey. 7? If I really believe that the Bible was the book that's gonna make or break me, send me to heaven or hell, boy, I'm gonna be walking around with that motherfucker in my hand mm -hmm. like this. Facts. Every day, boy, I'm finna know everything about it because this is the book of my life. So if I'm in a religion, I'm finna know everything about my religion. So you got people running around saying, hey, I'm a Christian, hey, I'm this, I'm that. And it's kind of like delusional to me because you don't even know nothing about your religion. So how are you going to say? Right. How you going to say this my religion and you know nothing about it? And we, I ain't going to lie. People don't, <laughs> black people in the black community with black churches, they don't want to believe it, but Christianity was brought to us by slave owners. Yes. Wow. It was meant to it control was. us. It, it was. was meant to us because oh, they preached to down, us down, yeah. as we had to obey yeah. our owners. They preached yeah, as for slaves. Sure. That's why I say, in, that's why I says in Matthews, um, John and Luke, and like like the first three chapters of the New Testament, you're gonna see that same um 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 verse several times. Slaves, listen to your masters. This, mm. What it was rewritten to enslave in the in what the hell is that in the Bible for? Uh, mm. Telling me a slave, listen to we my never master. To be slaves. Who the hell? Why would I want to listen to a man? See Matt Turner, the movie. Yeah, yeah, How that boy, really that, that boy. You feel me? So if, if that was the only, think about this, if we was enslaved and that was the only book that we had in slavery, I do not want no parts of that book. That was the only book they yeah. gave you? But the most powerful things that's book in the world? In us. I don't want that. And now, guess what? The biggest, the most majority of Christians is black people. We is the biggest Christians in the world. Everybody else, Catholics and goddamn Jews. What does it for me is, because I believe in God too, I believe and most Christians definitely don't get no it's a higher power. Oh, God, a a higher thing. power. But for me, what does it for me is like, seeing so many, especially black gay men, for me, this is just why I just started saying, oh, okay, certain things don't necessarily add up because you're going by a book of what you think is right, but your ultimate feeling in your mind, because I done met so many Black gay men that hate themselves because of what they're reading in this book or what's taught Which, to them so you're saying, over a feeling that they can never change. They can't scrub yeah. it off of them. They can't change how they feel about it. That is who they are. But what is taught to them in this book and what's been taught to them in church and religion is to hate themselves. So you talking about the black men in the church? No, he's saying that Just the gay men altogether. that are that are Christians, yeah. and it's like Christianity go against homosexuality. So mm -hmm. it's like, how are you gonna be a homosexual Christian? That doesn't make but this, sense. That's what people need to understand is in God's eyes, he doesn't look at any sin different from another. 
if I lie to her and you gay, it's all the same in his eyes. Mm. It's all a sin. He doesn't look at it higher than any, even a murderer. But that's all not, the same. But, that, but, but understand what? when he come back is what I believe <laughs> no, he will that, get the last become first and the first to become last. That that's why that that's why you know the white man wrote that. Cause they want you to think a lie and a murder is equal. You go yeah. uh, go to jail for a lie. They gonna you bond out and they gonna throw that shit away. Go to jail for a murder. Your ass and never see the fucking. You got guess what? At the end of the day, chaotic. If you want to be technical, we going by the laws of the land. Yeah. So you going by the laws of the land. He's going by the laws of the land. I'm going by the laws of the land. So what's in the Bible? We going by what is in the Bible and what is said in the Bible. So he's touching on the basis of one sin in the Bible of what we going by because ultimately everybody is obeying ultimately what the Bible is saying because those are the laws. Everything literally is equal. But I think a lot of times for people, for it to fit their narrative or their perspective of how they feel or how they want to put things down, they make the Bible and they twist it and they make it fit. I don't even think that makes feel. sense though, because even, watch this, even in the Bible, murderers in the Bible got way worse penalties than, yeah, than but, liars. But well, God that part for sure I'm agreeing with you on, but I'm because talking the, about the basis of what it the, says. That was the perception that people made, but if they was to lay their life to God for what the Bible him, said he's that's still what I'm going saying to forgive them but if you really think about it I just think I'm that, not talking about people I'm talking about what God is going to forgive yes, in his eyes. I'm, talking about it. Too. Oh. I'm talking about what's in his eyes I'm not fucking bound with these people I'm saying a lie and a murder good ass is conversation. the same when he when, when Jesus so picked his, his his disciples he picked alcoholics all type of crazy people none of them motherfuckers was perfect so you gotta understand he wants the people that's been seen life and the things it can do to you without him. Do you believe that there's a heaven and hell? No. So what is the word? <laughs> what is the word? What is the word? Damn, I'm, I'm trying to think of the word. What is the word for enabler? Uh -huh. mm. I believe that religion enables people mm. because it, it makes you it makes you think that it really it really to me it really makes it cool to keep doing bullshit over and over and thinking you're gonna be forgiven for it. But see, that's just, it's the, per never that's just the character of the person. It, no, though. no, no. That's just the, it's a subconsciously people subconsciously live this way. It's a never ending enabling system. Because think about this: Why do you think people feel so comfortable with running around the world, still doing wrong, and, and not fully submitting themselves to God or Christ? Because they know that I can just get on my knees and say, "God, please forgive me," and I'm, my sins will be but that's forgiven. That's just the mercy He gives Over you, though. Okay, so look. He's gonna forgive you, but it's, it's uh, not good that. Ass conversation. You gotta understand, people are not consciously. So, so guess what? It's like this: you saying he's gonna forgive you, right? Over and over and but over. What so, I'm what's the point? Is, so, listen: if I'm gonna be forgiven every time I sin, and I can just continue to sin and continue to just whenever I'm ready to go to church, go. To, it's like they people treat God like a fucking toy, I and that's the problem. The religion, that's, and that's it's right. Like Jesus, I could pick him up. Oh, I'm gonna pick up Jesus right now because I'm going through it. As soon as I'm past this, I'm gonna put Jesus down. And he I'm talk, pick he him talks up, put about that in the Bible. But but the way the Bible was set up through all the contradictions from Genesis. Uh, first of all, Genesis and I mean the, uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament is just two different. I'm not totals. saying it's all right. So the way that the, the 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 Bible is the most contradictory book that I've ever because it was rewritten. Up. It was. So rewritten. can I ask you a question real quick? I'm not saying it's all right. Mm -hmm. In layman's terms, you so you don't. Believe in forgiveness? I'm honestly just asking a question. You don't believe, believe and let me add one more piece so that I could get like an actual real answer. You don't believe that there is a higher being that has a everlasting unconditional love of forgiveness? I, I of course I do. I but I also what I believe is that I'm what I'm saying I believe is that people use religion. As if it's just like it, like it doesn't really matter to, yeah, to them as you. much. It's not value. Yeah, some people it it's don't. really because if 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 you really believe Christ died for my sins, this is my Lord and Savior. Like I'm going to heaven if I stick by the rules of this book, and if I don't, I'm going to hell. How the fuck do you keep leaving out of church on Sunday to go straight to the juke joint at night to get drunk? Yeah. Keep having all the sex uh, 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 out of marriage. Keep stealing. Keep being a bad person, and then keep be, like, how could you? But then see, is that's the word. That's the world we live in. How do you that's do the that? Temptations that we're how supposed did, to fight. That's all the stuff that he talks okay, about in the Bible but that look, we're supposed to fight. So how do? Okay, put it like this. How am I gonna be 
how how do I be a Christian, right? How do I be a Christian? And I say, I'm giving my life to God. And I ride around listening to young boy NBA all day, right? Fuck the nigga, shoot a dick the killer. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm polluting my mind. How do I, like, I just don't understand how people say, I'm a Christian. I believe Christ died for my sins. I believe in this book. This is the way I'm going to life begin. It's the way it's going to end. And I'm going to heaven because I'm a Christian. How the fuck you're not living solely 100% you gotta into your religion? You got to understand, too. Listen to it from this point of view. Back when we first came, when they took us and made us slaves, they wasn't doing all that then. All they did was pick cotton, work, and go to church. Because when, before sleep. we were slaves, we wasn't Christians. But, I, I, but what I'm saying is when we converted to this religion, they wasn't doing all what we're doing now. The world has evolved, and we're able to have way more access and do way more things and be exposed to stuff that we... That's damaging us as far as what we're supposed to be getting close to God with. But it should, I'm gonna tell it you right it now, it shouldn't damage us because it can. Just the way the re, the world revolves for for us to more dig into negativity or for us to be more um, eagerly to sin uh-huh. it's vice versa. It's so okay, you don't part. think you don't think it's like two sides to that because there are people who practice the book. There are people who go by the book. There and are those people, the people that, who and those live the, their those, way like and that. And those the people and that then, I respect. On the flip side, I feel like at the end of the day, we all just flesh and blood. Yeah. So ultimately, as human beings, we're not robots. We're not crickets. We're not definitely not. We human beings that are living on this earth who are going to make mistakes. It's inevitable. So There's I feel wrong like with that. you you don't think that as a Practicing, because I really feel like everybody is just a practicing Christian. Okay, you don't think that in that layout of trying to uh, get wait, to where you're going. I'm so glad you said it. You say everybody's a what? Practicing Christian. So everybody's not a Christian. So so if, and, if so if people start carrying this, just saying I'm a practicing Christian, then I will understand. Got it. You're okay. Practicing. Got you're it. Practicing Got it. Really, I just said you're that practicing, you're practicing Got Christianity. It. You're not a Christian. <clears throat> You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah. you all I'm a Christian. You I trying. believe in Jesus Christ. Nigga, let me tell y'all something. Right now, in this day and age, majority of it, it, the, 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 the Rickman scale done changed. The majority of people that was Christians nowadays, that shit done slid. Everybody questioning religion now. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me that God know God created me and knew that how my life was going to begin and end. Because it says that in the Bible. God yes. knows how your life going to be. He knew how it's going to be in. He knew it was going to end. Whatever, whatever. So, damn, you know how my life's going to begin. You know how my life's going to end. So, damn, you're going to put me in this life that I didn't even ask to come and be in. I knew nothing of. I had no choice, no option, no nothing. Put me in life under these circumstances and conditions. I know nothing. I'm born as a baby knowing nothing. I only know and learn what I'm taught. Mm-hmm. To, so, whoever's teaching me leads me in the wrong direction, and I end up living a fucked up life. And now, when I die, you're going to make me cast me to hell well, for all well, eternity. Well, that's not what for it all is. Eter- no. It's, 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 in the Bible. Bible. It's, it's in the Good Bible day. that he Tell will, me. Like, if you live that type of life where you never was introduced to God, and that's what you're trying to say? No, no, you could be introduced to God, but that I, doesn't I already mean, know what you're finna say. No, what I'm saying say, is... You could be introduced to God, but I don't like. I don't even know if this is. But, but what I'm like, saying is... Just like I'm introduced to God, I'm introduced it don't, to the it don't devil. Work, it don't work like that. What I'm trying to say is... He <laughs> said, this is like he said, this a God listen, 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 right here. Listen, what I'm saying, he <laughs> says in the Bible... Like Wait, hold on, let me He hear, says in the Bible, he's not coming back until his gospel has been preached on all four corners of the earth. So just because you may know about him, if you're not introduced to him, to say that. Well, watch he's, this. Who's to say this is his gospel when the white man rewrote it? This is a remix version. This I mean, you got, I'm not arguing with that. We being, uh-huh. we being taught a dummy brick. I'm not arguing this with that. This ain't that raw uncut. We got to go into the tombs uh-huh. to get that raw uncut. We got to read hieroglyphics. I'm not arguing with that. Go, we got to go back. First of all, none of us will know a fuck thing if we ain't go if we don't go travel back to Africa. If we don't go to Egypt, if we don't go to Nazareth, yeah, that's a fact. if we don't go to these places, we don't know nothing. Because whatever we think we know in America, ain't it. Yeah. We got to go back and sit back with them. We got to go back to the... To, to the I mean, movie. I'm so not arguing with guy, it. Uh, 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 chaotic, I'm sorry, excuse me. What, what is, if you had to say what you believe in, what you worship, what's your religion, what would that be for you? I believe in God. I believe in my higher power. I believe that there is a higher power. That we call God. We all refer to our higher power as God. That's that's what it is. Yeah, God. Yeah. I believe in the God. I believe in the angels. I believe that it's multiple gods. 
Mm. I, I I got my own theory. I believe it's multiple gods. I believe in doing right. I believe in the law of attraction. Mm. I believe in manifestation. I believe in karma. I'm damn near like I fuck. You know what I fuck with the most out of everything? Mm -hmm. Buddhism. But I don't praise a Buddha. But I'm. But tell I'm saying you. what they practice. They practices with the like like that's. I just believe in like those type of things. Law of attraction. Manifestation. You know, love, peace, kindness, like just Vaughn, being a great you, person. If I, if I had to ask you and say, what would your religion be? Which I already know. What, I'm a, I, what would you not, say? You I, I'm not even going to tell you I'm a Christian because I'm not. Uh -huh. What I'm going to tell you is I know the Bible has be, been rewritten for mm -hmm. slavery purposes. But some things in there I do believe is true. Now, what I will say is I do believe all these other religions came under one. So what I'm saying is, you know how in, when you was in kindergarten, they taught you this skill. And let me get this off before y'all interrupt me. Okay. I'm about to really break this shit down. <laughs> okay. You know how yeah. when y'all used to in school and y'all used to sit in a line and your teacher would tell you something in your ear and she wants you to pass it to this person yeah. and you pass it to this person and you pass it to that person. And by the time it get to the end, it ain't even what she said. Mm -hmm. So I feel like all of these religions are being taught down from years and years and years and it's an image of what somebody thought somebody told them. Mm. So Buddhism was created of what those type of people thought, what they got from their ancestors. And what we got was this, and what they got was that. But really, we all chasing the same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But that's why I said I believe in just being a great person. Me? I believe the fuck I believe yeah. in, like I say, manifestation. Mm -hmm. I believe that our mind, you got to think about this. We only use what five percent of our brain, right? Mm -hmm. I believe that at one point in time, before when we didn't have these penal glands, when they was removed, I believe that we was able to look at stuff and make it lift off the ground. I believe like how they got the pyramids Ooh, in Egypt. I, Nancy, I don't believe in no magic. When they, when they, well, no, I'm just telling you, like <laughs> we at one point in time, I'm telling you, I feel like we had we lost special it. powers yeah. that we lost. Uh -huh. Think about this, bro. You're only using five percent of your brain. You know what this brain can do? Mm -hmm. Your brain running 60,000 thoughts a day. You don't even probably know that. You know what I'm saying? You oh, I love to be educated. Teach you know what, that what I'm saying? You know what this shit can do? You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, I just feel like, I, I and first of all, let me tell you one thing. I, I, let me just show you something. This is one of my favorite words. One of my favorite things. I don't like being compartmentalized. Mm. So you can't don't put me in the box. Facts. Got it. Don't marginalize me. Mm. So when you speak on religion and you speak on God, mm. from my God, my creator, you can never. I feel like it's a disrespect to say that my God, who created all these beautiful people and all these beautiful things in this world, can fit in one book. That's a fact. What the what? You can't even teach history out of one book. Yeah. So how are you going to teach me my God out of one book? That's just set the record straight right there. Oh, God. My God, the creation Damn. of everything. Of everything? Of all existence? Yeah, I, I believe Bro, how that. long you think this world been around? Exactly. Bro, dinosaurs lived 250 million years I literally ago. just, we all just getting our turn here. Yeah. Literally, that's why we be here one day and gone in there. 50, 250, look up how long dinosaurs yeah. were. Nigga, that shit real, it'll tell you 200 million years ago. You be like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Bitch, you mean to tell me you got, you still got information from 200 million years ago? Where the fuck is that? Yeah, Because 200 million years ago, bitch, we ain't even. Shit, 165 million years. Exactly. Now, who the fuck got information from 165 million years? That's what I'm saying. Now, who the fuck? Years? You get Every, that, though? Everybody and everything Woo! that lived 165 million years ago is gone. Yeah. So let me ask you this, though. So Do we you, being lies being passed on With us. everything that's going on in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Even with the violence and every... Do you not think that when it comes down to the gatekeepers and when it comes down to higher power people, do you not think that it would have been smart to make some type of guidelines for people to abide by? Because at the end of the day, and that's why I'll go back and forth. I'm really a Gemini. I get both perspectives, right? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to the book and when it comes down to what's laid down in the book and when it comes down to the rules of what is said in there, it's not that it's telling anybody to do anything harmful. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was needed because without it, we would be in worse destruction than what we are now because oh, at the, the end of the day, anyway. as people, we all need something to be grounded in. No, I feel no, like no, regardless... Go ahead. No, if we would have got the right teaching, 
We right? would have never been here. We would have never been down where we at if we would have got the right teaching. See, you got to understand the, 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 the Christianity, it weakened us. It exactly. taught us fear. You understand what I'm saying? It made you afraid. It made you afraid. Everything from the Bible, it says, I can do all things through Christ. So it always made you feel like I have to have Christ in everything I do to do it. It always made you say, even put things off. I pray, I'm going to pray on something, and God going to give it to me. I can pray. God going to give it to me. It made you a little lax. But see, chaotic, that's not everybody. It's, it's depending on how you use it because but, but, as but, people but, but, living on this earth, you need something that's just, that is what I do believe in. You know. to, to walk and live on this earth, you have to be grounded in something. Because and if you, you know don't what, have something you know to go back. You know what it's supposed to be? <laughs> it's supposed to be each other. Exactly. we supposed to be grounded into each other. But how you going to be but grounded, grounded into grounded each other? the white people? What was they fucking book? How are exactly. you going to be you know, grounded? You know what grounded the white people? Their last fucking name. But guess what? No, 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 no. They're grounded in religion too. So what? So bruh, you mean bruh, to tell no, me no, slave no, no. masters that rape bruh, their slaves? Let me tell you no, 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 I ain't talking about it. It was grounded in religion? Bruh, bruh them white folks no, was I'm not grounded it. in religion. Them white folks was grounded in their name. All them met J.P. Morgan, Walmart, Warner, Walgreens. All got, them is fucking last names, brother. He got a them is last names. Every The biggest fucking corporations in this country that run this fucking country, Rockefeller, all of that shit are last names. Those people who are grounded in last night, you know what they was grounded in? Generational fucking wealth. Something we never experienced. That's a fact. Our last names mean nothing. Our last names mean nothing because we didn't have ancestors from way back in the days building on us because you know what? All the slave owners and masters, every one of these corporations that you know that is, is functioning right now all date back to slave masters. White people could go on their ancestries.com and find everything. They can find out if they're Walmart. Or I think for, birth. But us niggas, yeah. we only go back. So we can't find who our ancestors But I think is. for well, me, I can, the I can go on ancestry. The context, shit but I, I can tell you right now, I went to ancestry and my fifth generation grandfather, it says slave owner. So he, he basically. Of, so you white. I'm, we all are. No, we not. I ain't we, we all, but listen, you from the caucus mountains. Don't saying, say I'm white. I'm black. Look at on me. On my ancestry, my fifth generation grandfather, it says slave owner. But no, 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 no. I but see, then wouldn't no, that no, be no, a contradiction no, of what no, you no, just no, said, no, Chaotic? No, no, no. Let me because stop. you just said no, no, that when no, we no, go no. all the way back. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, let down. me stop you. I know exactly what he said. The, the, no, 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 stop. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I like this. Good shit. No, let me tell you something. The boy is making a valid point. See, I was just really speaking out of emotions because I do not want to be. Yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be dated back to a slave owner, but he's right. Oh, no, and I love that he just did that. No, no, no. Because then I just tell you. I, but let me say this. I respect you for saying that because I hate when I'm having an argument what or disagree with, with somebody. What they say? And they, I just you told you that. And I hate when people only want to disagree or say something because they don't want to be wrong in the context. No, but what what you Go ahead. Oh, finish. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. You right. And you know why he right? Because once once our ancestors became slaves, everything prior to that they wiped away. So exactly. that's why we gonna be dated back to a slave owner because they was our owner. That's not our family. That's not our bloodline. But our bloodline ended with that motherfucking slave master. Exactly. All our that's last. That's why names. we dated back to the motherfucking slave master. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We dated back to the slave master because they can't find nothing past that slave let me, master. So let me that's chaotic. Let me they segue a little bit. History. Let yeah. me segue. We're just a little, not because it's really going to tie in a sense, but let me ask you this. Just one personal question, right? With everything, because I swear to God, I didn't even, one, I didn't even know that you was that fucking popular. <laughs> Literally till I was sitting out talking to a friend, <laughs> yeah. and my friend I had seen on a blog that you had cut your hair, yeah. right? And I was like, um, "Shout out to I said, Corey oh, look, Chaotic!" I said, "Look, Chaotic cut his hair," yeah. and my friend was like, "Chaotic, um, that got that song. What is the name of that song?" Shout you out know, to RX everybody. Elise. Yeah, these hoes for everybody. Yeah. So he was like. Chaotic, the one that's saying these hoes for everybody. I'm like, no, Chaotic don't got no song that say these hoes for everybody. And he's like, yes, Chaotic do. I'm like, no, the fuck Chaotic do not. He's like, I'm telling you, Chaotic. I said, let me, because the one thing about me, I love a bag. And yeah. I would literally pay you on the spot. Because yeah. a lot of times if I'm being passionate about something, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm like, I, so you bet, you, no I bet you $30 Chaotic don't have no song called these hoes for everybody. He's like, yes, I do. Yes, he do. So I Googled it. I'm like, 
I didn't fucking know Keanu. He was like, yeah, that's a that's actually a big song. Yeah. So I went to go do my research more. Seeing that you had different things that has occurred in your past, you don't think with everything that you've been with, been through, uh -huh. excuse me, what has kept you grounded? You don't think that religion has something to play with that? Because ha did, wasn't you in a situation with like a shooting or something like that? Yeah, I've been shot 17 times. Mm. You At once? 15 times at once, twice another time. But like I used to, I was, a, I was, I was, at one point in time in my life, I was a real like, I was I wasn't the best person, you know. I was I had a lot of evil in me. So at one point in time, I was in a in my evil in my evil um, phase. Well, you know, I had a lot of wild stuff going on. I was associated with a lot of wild people. Uh, my brother, that, that's like my brother. Like if you go to my pen post on my Instagram, you'll see my brother on my pen. Uh, he got thirty years. You'll see my cousin on my pen. He got 30 years. You'll see my hospital records on my pen. And you'll see my brother got four murders. you see my cousin got one murder. you see my brother got robberies. Like, I, I I put that on my social media. And it's my blood brother, same daddy, same mother. This is my blood cousin. And, and the slew of other people that was running with us, you know, years ago. But I put that up there just because if a nigga ever, because you, you, how I am, my personality, my character, yeah. you won't know. That at one point in time I was like on demon time, yeah, like I, that I was out. Satan. Yeah, you wouldn't know I was Satan because I'm so like you'll be like. But Which at one point in time, I was, God yeah. At one it. point in time, I was Satan himself. I was the angel that fell for heaven. So, you know, um, after just being going through everything I went through from multiple shootings, niggas used to try to kill me all the time. Like it was one point in time, like at, at like a three four year. Spur what I was, my life was in like you couldn't even be around me unless you was active. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I was I was a nigga that I, like you couldn't even be around unless you was really active, or, or you probably would have got shot. You know what I'm saying? Or you or you or you had to be ready to shoot. And uh, wow. from that, from just making it through all of that, making it through like I don't be I I'm supposed to be doing a life sentence. Yeah. Not only supposed to be, I don't even like saying supposed to be dead. I. Because if I was supposed to be dead, I would have been dead. If I was supposed to be doing a life sentence, I'd be doing it. But I faced that. I faced death. I faced life sentence. I done faced 10 years, 15. I done been in and out of jail. I done been through the like worst shit that people could go through in life. And I and I made it. And I made it out. You know what I'm saying? And I made it out without a scratch. Like if you could, like I'm gonna show y'all some shit. Watch this. I'm, I'm gonna just show you some shit right here. Gonna fuck y'all up, right? Cause I like, like I'm like you. Like you know how you you be ready to. Push it out. I'd be ready to push it out. When you go look at my post, you say the 25, the patient is a 25-year-old African American male, status post gunshot wound to multiple body areas, including the face. This is a hospital record. Mm -hmm. It's my hospital record. Where it's telling what? you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's my hospital record. So, and then it'll tell you right here, multiple gunshot wounds to the to the lower back, bilateral thighs, face, and scalp. So that means I got hit in the face. I got hit in the head, bilateral thighs, the back. One shot in your leg could take you out. You know, you oh got God. the main arteries right there. I, I, I know a nigga got hit one time in the leg. And died. And died. You feel me? I got shot seven times in this leg and five times in this leg. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, when you when you make it, when you make it through certain shit, it's like, I, I all I can say is what keep me grounded is God. That's how I know it's a God. Got it. Mm -hmm. That's how I can't, no matter if I don't accept religion, I accept God. I don't accept religion because I, the power of God to me cannot be put, it cannot be put in one book. One book can't tell me that this is the beginning to the ending. It can't. It's so many unquestioned answers. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a researcher. I like to seek knowledge. Yeah. I, and I ain't even, nigga, I haven't even t touched the tip of the knowledge that I wanna that I wanna that I wanna seek. So it's like, how can I be a person to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna believe that when I done seen some of the most miraculous things happen, but wow. not just me, with other people. And I see so many things that just can't be explained that I can't even find an explanation for yeah. in the Bible. So I just feel like I would be disrespecting God by saying that everything that you created, everything that exi exists in this world. From everything that we evolved from, from evolution to dinosaurs to 
all of these things that we can't explain or understand, like that's not even in the Bible. I feel like that'd be a disrespect to God to, to say put that, it in one book. To put it in one book, and that's what it makes you it can't seem even the same watch this. You can't even get a high school diploma with one book. Exactly. How you gonna put a whole God's creation but you in can one put, book? But you can think about that. You ain't thought you about it that God, way, Big Sexy. You can put God's No, creation. I ain't saying that because of that. I'm stuck on the story. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck on the story. Hey, his, hey, I mean, but that, that, that was... He still that, thinking like... He still thinking about that. No, but but that's, that's, I, I want you to... But listen, that, what, that's what was, your story that was the, the, the key for me. Because you got to understand, I grew up in the church. My, my grandmas and my moms, was they heavy on church. But it never really clicked with me until I got shot 26 times. It's been less than a year. My anniversary is coming up for me being shot May 30th. It's been less than a year. You know what I'm saying? At one time. So that was the key for me because when I got shot that day 26 times, in my heart and mind, I gave up. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's it. I laid down. Yeah, no, that's 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 my last words was like I'm dead. Yeah, that, that was, was the it. last thing I said. You know, like, right, in I'm the dead. moment, I'm looking down Damn, at myself. Oh geez, a I'm lot in of the most ro- vulnerable shit. state I could ever be in life, where I don't have no control over what's going to happen to me. Yeah. Usually, I'm a nigga that's controlling what's going on mm. with me. I'm controlling niggas that got beef with me. I'm controlling all this shit. But in that moment, I like, oh, this is it. I gave up in my head. So for me to wake up in the hospital three days later and they telling me, oh, you're gonna be good. All you got to do is do this, this, and this. You're going to be straight. Go to rehab. You got shot. You got you hit 26 times. You got in your legs and all over. But you look at me right now. If I don't take my shirt off, you ain't going to believe me. Yeah, no, that's, how, that's, that's the same thing. With, but let me tell you something. It's so crazy. That's why I pinned my hospital records because, like, I'm on TV, you know, yeah. everywhere. My, my, I put, my, I put yeah. my story everywhere. I, on, on, on a TV show, on, on, I do interviews. I always and people gonna people will always you know people oh man that because the t- people so small minded they cannot believe that they can't believe a it. person took twenty six shots they cannot and believe still it. is alive so that's but the they'll only tell you they I believe in God shit, pit, that, but they'll tell you they believe in God so damn now, I ain't never met somebody that took did you pin that because you felt like a nigga have you fucked up thinking that you soft. No, I because you a that, brand new he's brand. Trying to, he's I trying to let that. you know what God power can do. Exactly. Yes, okay. because what he's trying, what he's trying to break you know it down. You can't. You ain't feeling what I didn't took. What he done said since he sat here. What he's trying to tell you is, it's people saying they believe, but they play with life. But you yeah. will see a nigga like me trying to tell you something. Mm-hmm. That's why when I when I done told you before, when I know, I know, and when I don't, I'm not finna say shit because I know. You got to understand, at this point in my life, I'm not playing with life no more. I'm not playing with no niggas. I'm not arguing with nobody. It ain't none of that. Because if it's that serious, I know it can come with that shit. But understand, that's why I say, I don't play with this shit at all, life. Because I know what what can happen with this shit. Niggas don't know what death feel like. And a lot that of niggas, out of body experience. yeah, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of niggas don't even know what the other end of that shit feel like to stand over a nigga and watch him die. They don't understand both either side of that shit. But niggas will play with life and act like they doing that. You get what I'm saying? You I don't respect ra- or, or that run shit. Run around like you rapping about it in the song or running around with I your fire. I don't respect five. that shit. You ain't never bust that gun. You ain't never. But did you it. run around with it, with the with the with the fucking mind state of you ready to do it, not knowing what come behind that. And that's why I pinned my brother them and my cousin because it's like this is what I'm li- this is this is what I'm living for. This is my whole pin. Cross, this is what I'm living for. You feel me? I'm living for these for these reasons right here. It's like my whole transition. It go from my hospital records to my brother them in prison to my whole new look to my to my transition in life to me cutting my hair, taking my goals out, and and, 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 and and reinventing myself and becoming a whole new different person. Like these 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 all the shit from the past of me that shit did. Like that's why I'm making music like appreciate me and and, and just spread and love in my music now because it's like. I, I, I've graduated That's from that. Phenomenal. I don't got nothing to prove. Yep. Like, I can tell a nigga these teardrops ain't just for show. Got and, it. And it's, and it's real. Yeah. And it ain't no faking. It ain't no old oh, yeah, You can see me laughing and joking and playing all the time. But I done been on both ends of the, uh, uh, of the mm-hmm. stick. So it's like, I don't got to prove that. And when, and when you have been there and done that, dog, after a while, you don't want that shit no you more. Don't. You a, see what little dirt, you see what that little nigga little dirt doing right now? Phenomenal. He, 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 that man trying to change the that song with J. Cole, that's what we but, need. But see, that's the thing. That's the thing, though. Niggas like that take that, that as you being pussy or you getting soft. No, but when man. it comes to a certain point of your life, 
you understand both ends of that shit, and you like, I'm not finna fight these charges because I don't want to be locked up with yeah. all these faggot ass niggas that are gonna end up trying to rape you anyway. Mm-hmm. Niggas I'm not trying to do that shit. Nigga probably I'm not trying to die behind thug, this shit. Talking to niggas like Young Thug and different niggas, casting over and all these niggas who getting all these long ass and getting locked up. Like, damn, my nigga. The, the, the feds watching me too. You don't, dirt, you don't think dirt them know the feds watching them too? They waiting. You don't think they waiting on one false move? And let me tell you one thing about the feds, my nigga. Dog, it could be 2023 and 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 and, and you could they could come and pick you up for some shit that happened in 2020 in 2000. I understand it. They I, could get some evidence of some shit that happened in 2000. You think 23 years done went by and you under good. Somebody could tell on you from something you did in 2000 and the feds will come get your ass. Exactly. Understand the feds, it. <laughs> they can come whenever. Understand it. A victim, just like my situation. <laughs> you, I don't know you, if hold it's on, true. Hold on, not to cut you off. You see the body with Thug. That shit happened in uh, 2014. 2013, 2014. They just they now just bring that back body around, on around this around man, that. dog. From 10 years ago, bro. And understand, nah. a nigga like me, because niggas I, just started snitching. A nigga like me, I may have been the victim in getting shot, right? I may have been mm. the victim, but understand, they still watching me, because they want to know why did they want to do that to you? What you got going on? It may be nothing, but they still gonna watch. You never know what's going on, and you niggas be living life peachy and creamy, still doing what they doing. That's why only you'll see me. I mind my motherfucker. I don't hang with niggas because I don't want to be tied to nothing. Yep. I, if I do a crime, I don't want to have a code of it. Because nah. if I tell on myself, I tell on myself, can't nobody do it for me. Niggas be doing shit with niggas. And I'm not, I don't know the full ins and out of gun and thug. But a situation where a nigga cop and please before the situation even situated, like, that's just weird to me. But let me show you something. It's bigger than even just gun and thug. You only think gun and thug because that's who they are. The media. It's the biggest yeah. niggas in niggas that Niggas been case. doing that. But it's no. It's probably 30 niggas on that, on that, on exactly. that shit. So fuck Gun and Thug. Mm-hmm. It's the 10 little niggas that nobody even know nothing about that got the whole case. Open wide, booty hole got wide. Got the whole Absolutely. case open. Yeah. That's what got the case open. So it be, nigga might, nigga might look at Gunner. Oh, Gunner told, man, it ain't even, y'all thinking about the wrong person. Fuck Gunner. What about Lil Wop Wop and Lil Wham Wham? And, Lil and Joe, them the Joe, niggas, niggas that probably them the actually ones pulled who the really, trigger. The ones that, that what I'm saying, but it was them, the ones that did. Because guess what? In the case, they the ones who said, yeah, Young Thug paid us to go do this But they this want the organizer. That. What they want is the organizer. They don't care about the nigga. They that want the, the nigga with the bag. They want the nigga that organized Who's this shit. It. But Kayana, let me ask you this, though. How do you go from being on the streets, demon time, to now being on TV? Was that a hard transition for you to go to? No, because one thing about me, see, this is the one thing that, 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 that's how I know that wasn't for me. Uh-huh. My mom always told me, my mom is a real strong Christian lady. You Bye know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But one thing she always, I didn't never listen to everything she said, because a lot of shit she said didn't make no sense to me. Mm-hmm. So I was always rebellious. But one thing she always told me, that that life you live in ain't for you. Mm. And God gonna deliver you from that one day. That's something she always told Ooh, me. Undeniable love. She, that's one thing she always told me because she said that wasn't your calling. I know so she So now watch you. this. Now I'm finna let you know how it was so easy to transition. Because I always had personality. Even when I was in the streets, I was a funny nigga. I was an entertaining nigga. Yeah. That's one thing that no matter what I do, when I was locked up, I was always entertaining niggas. And anywhere I was at from in the streets to in a jail to in a prison wherever i was at i was always entertaining niggas you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. i always had talent i was always able to create i was good with words i was always ready able to make nice songs and put together good records i was always able to do this throughout it all mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but i just got sidetracked from being a product of my environment mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. being a product of my environment sidetracked me so really it wasn't me transitioning from the streets to who I am right now. It was the other way around because I was always who I am right now. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? I was always this this person who I am. This mm-hmm. what I was. It's just that I had to go through all that to, get to build character. So now I can go. God want me to be able to go anywhere and talk to anybody. So now at the place I am in, I can go to prison and talk to niggas and they can mm-hmm. relate to me. I can go, I can save Phenomenal. I can save the I can save the youth. I can save I I I dealt with I can I can save whoever. Because I'm I'm like, I got 
experience with it all. Absolutely. So that's now why it's that, called a testimony. Exactly. He won't. I'm gonna tell you right now. That's why God says when He come back to get us, the last will become first, and the first will become last. And we can wrap it up with this. And that means he, wait, wait. He said we can wrap it up with that. But because uh, he said you ain't gonna go against this. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, don't say nothing about that. But, but it. what I'm saying, is, <laughs> what I'm really saying, I'm gonna wrap it up with this. He no. wants the people that been through the struggle. The right. people that always had it clean and the trust fund babies and all that shit, y'all ain't seen shit. Y'all don't know shit. You've been given this. Mm -hmm. But the people that had to work for it, they had to go through the fight, they had to go through the fire and everything like that, he wants those people because you really know his glory. You really know his word. Absolutely. You really know what he can do and what he what what's going on. Yep, absolutely. The people that don't really know, it's kind of like, yeah, I believe in God. I go to church and thank you every day, but you don't really know. It's a God for your man right you here. You know what I'm saying? Core. He believe in his God. That's right. <laughs> no, but I love him too. No, I, and I'm I'm with him. <laughs> I, I'm I'm I, like listen. I'm just as deeply rooted in him as him. I just don't go off of the Bible. Yeah, but absolutely. I stand, but I stand. We on the same as, page. Just though. as highly as he speak of God mm -hmm. is how I am. We on the same I page. I go hard. I just don't. I just don't do it from a religious standpoint. The logistics of religion. Yeah, yeah I just do it from a. It's free, both free, sides yeah, of me. Yeah, though. yeah. I read it, but I know it's not all there. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not all there. It's like he worked for the company and I'm an independent contractor, but our job is the same. Exactly. Ah, you feel me? That was so bad. <laughs> hey, man. That was so We got to do this again. That yeah, no, we're going to definitely fuck. do another. Look, you know what's crazy? I ain't even get to promote my single. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, right now. No, no, no. Right now. This ain't even about my single. When I got a new single out, just type in chaotic. Appreciate me. Please. That's it. This we ain't gonna, what about. We gonna I don't even it. want this to be about my single. I want this to be about the things we just spoke of, man, because God, God, God wanted us to, to yeah, this speak on what we speak. So we're not going to what God did. So many viral clips. Remember this day. Oh, God. Of what the fuck I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this day of what I'm telling you. Remember. Yeah. That's hey, all man. I like this. I appreciate y'all for coming. It's yeah. been a blessing. It's been good. We had to say that because we. we yeah. no, no. <laughs> hey, we, we gonna double. I'm well, double back. Oh god. We go. We go. We go. Come back because we got. We ain't even touch as many as topics oh, as god, we could have touched. Oh god, we did it. Oh god, we, we did we it. We went. We went. We went two topics. Um, we went from eating, staying wearing, but it's like different things tying. <laughs> we went from me being late, <laughs> literally, <laughs> but it's like different things tying into different things and going different loopholes. So it be segwaying yeah. different yeah. ways. I love but it. But they though, get man. the bigger picture. That's why I say. I tell people. This ain't an interview. Just come sit down and talk with me. Yeah. Let's have some real shit going. Yeah, man. I like this. I appreciate I, it. I fuck with. I fuck with the platform, man. Thank you. I brother. appreciate it. A lot of people you can't go sit down with and get up from the from the conversation. Like, damn, damn, that was, that was good. a vibe. Like, and a lot of people good. say that when they come here, they yeah, be like, damn, yeah. I fuck with that shit. No, I feel good. <laughs> That's good. Even I appreciate with you, bro, it. Like, I've appreciate never, it, I've never, and not even bringing people's sexuality into the, the conversation. But this is my first time ever sitting and having. A, a, even talking sexual with somebody that mm. that's, that that has a different belief in sex. Yeah, for and sure. I probably and, was and, his and, first. And dog, and dog, at the end of the day, Paul, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big Paul. No, no. <laughs> Listen, I didn't even like that. No, no, I mean, like his first conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. no like, he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he my first dude. <laughs> he just broke my virginity. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? You though. just broke my conversation, <laughs> virginity, dog. And yeah, like, for no, sure. no, like. And I can appreciate that. That was really dope. Like you ain't you ain't even make no. I ain't feel uncomfortable. Yeah, no, right. Really and they were just like, but you, you know, know that let you know that, that you that no, that's just that for people. I just want people around the world to know that when you see Sister, people that's that part, when you see people that's homosexual, like got their own different sexuality, that don't mean that they ain't real people or they exactly. ain't no vibes or because you straight, you can't chop it up with this man. This man be caught me and this nigga be texting. You know what I'm saying? And he be like, he, this man put me on to this show. Facts, facts. Then he finna do some shit to help me with my single. Then facts. he be put me on the other shit. So it's like, he's a, it's, we, it's still we like people, real. people, man. Yeah, yeah. We all people, bro. Just because this man, no. I, and we need more men like y'all. Yeah, man. bro. To literally close the gap. I love you, for man. Real. If I ain't never yeah, tell I you, I love you, my boy. boy. For real, for real. I love you too, my boy. For real, yeah, man. For real, that's, man. That's for real, man. G but shit, dog. I appreciate it, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow everybody. Y'all go check his new single out. I'm going to make sure I pin it below. And make sure y'all go that's follow love. this crazy. He got so many bookings. He might be in your city soon. Both oh, of these Oh, yeah, niggas. for sure. Both of them. 
Yeah, uh-huh. we coming to a city near you. <laughs> Facts. And um, just, that's how me and this nigga had, like, well, yeah. that ain't how we met, but that's how we, like, really clicked. Linked up, but y'all had a book in together. we had a book yeah. together. But even that day, I said, I literally told my friend, I said, chaotic cool as a fuck. He called me kicked, and told me that shit. No, but we, cause we kicked it at Amy house. Yes. One time, we was at, Amy had something at her crib. And you and don't even it. remember, the day before I got shot, we was at a pool party with this nigga. Damn. We was at Icon Midtown, and we was at the same pool party. I, I was with her. Icon Midtown, that was the nigga, retarded nigga. Um, I forgot his name. Because Eastside Ivo was there. Eastside Ivo was there. And, they, they, and that was the Double Dose Twins was there, too. Exactly. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yep. Yep. Like, wow. yes, this was the day before I got circle. shot. Yeah, that's he, crazy. He was, we was at a pool party with him the next you day. You got shot that, before that or after the, that? The next day. We had Damn. that pool party on a Sunday because it was Nigga, that was recently. And then yeah, I know that's what be blowing my mind too. That's yeah. like that was within a year for real. For real, for real. Jesus. All right, y'all, we out of here. Set the record straight. Stay tuned. It's your boy Vine. We just set the record straight. Yeah.